painted beautifully, but this is the model of the ground plan that we saw last night. Okay? The trees are up for debate still. We're not sure what we can build in the time. Well, they're going to be some sort of tree. We just don't know how they're going to look or how we're going to build them yet. But that's the idea of the thing. This is approximately eight feet tall, so that we will be entering from underneath the bridge with a lot of different acting spaces, a lot of different differences. Um, now there's also a thrust, as you saw on the ground plan, there's a thrust off the front of the staircases. We will be using the aisles frequently and often and vigorously, so we'll be using the aisles a lot. The major component of this stage is this uh, bridge up here that will span the width of the stage. It is four feet wide and eight and a half feet off the ground, uh, and it's sort of an arced curving bridge. Uh, there are two platforms on either side and then steps down to two more platforms here then down to the stage floor. There will be a series of columns underneath that bridge which will create three different entrances for us to use in under that bridge. Um, there will be two trees that will arc over the stage in the back to sort of frame the, uh, the, the, the psych and those lights. All right, So that's sort of what we're dealing with there. And as you see at the foot of the stage, um, we are going to build it out about four feet and uh, have these platforms here with stairs down to the stage floor. So that's sort of what we're looking at here. Um, it's going to be a very fun space to play on, I think. We're going to be using the levels as much as humanly possible. So uh, just be prepared. You will be making crosses over that bridge and down and around and things like that. So it should be a pretty fun environment to play with. Something that is not on here that we will be making use of is the trap door, which is about here on the stage. Um, Morgan Le Fay will rise from the trap. <laughs> 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 yeah, she was so jealous during producers because oh, yeah. yeah. But you know, I just couldn't figure out how to get Ula down through you know. uh, yeah, so. <laughs> She was the only one that realistically fit down there. <laughs> um, and, and most likely we we're going to have Merlin disappear from the stage down through that trap door. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna use that a couple of times, hopefully. Everyone, place your hand like this on your blade, hold it out. All right. This is called the supine position. All right. Your hand is under the sole. All right. This is supine. All right. This is pronate. All right. Pronate. Yep. Supine. Pronate. Supine. Pronate. Or pronate. Yep. So basically, your hand is either under or on top of the blade. All right, so in the golfing parry, your hand is in the supinated position. All right, your hand is under your blade. Just like a golf swing. Just like a golf swing. All right, this is actually, I think, the easiest low line parry to make from the unguard position because you're just, you're right there. All right, now, especially if you're me, if you're in my unguard position, I'm right there. Um, see, it's much harder for me to parry a, an attack over here from my on guard position because I like my blade almost entirely supine. All right, on guard. Now I'm going to attack, and it's going to go boom, 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 boom. We're going to start with eye contact, and then I'm going to target where I'm going to attack. Then I make my first move. That's my cue. His reaction is going to be to start to move to that position and then I'm going to attack, okay? You can have your attack a little straighter up. And part of it is because we're just standing here, so we're not closing distance. Normally, I would be stepping into you, so that would be closing the attack a little bit, all right? The big thing, try not to turn your feet so much. Try to really keep those feet on the railroad tracks. Let it be from your hips, all right? Hips, not feet. If we turn our feet too much, that's when we're gonna risk blowing out a knee. All right. We're going to do the same attack sequence in slow motion, okay? All right. Good. Don't move my blade. Okay. Let my blade come to you. Once you, get, yeah, once you get a place, you're fine. Yeah, and you want to make sure that parry is going to fall outside of that leg. Good. We never want the parry to come inside of our body. The parry's got to always be outside of the line of our body. All right? Let's do it one more time. Learn this, love this, know this. 